motivation today is going to be led by Mr. Femora. So, Eric, come on up here and tell us what you got. Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, you know, favorite topic for my motivation today is actually uh, gratitude, being grateful. You know, uh, I think being gr grateful leads to other topics, enjoying the journey, being, you know, journey of being part of this nation, not dwelling on the path, uh, the path, I'm sorry, failing to succeed, everything that happens to you, your control of the reaction, and, you know, once again, having no regrets. That all starts with being people, you know. We often get caught up, you know, in the destination. We forget, you know, the destination to whatever our goal is. We forget that we have to appreciate the journey. We focus on what we want to achieve, but we forget to enjoy the process of getting there. The truth is, the journey is the destination. The journey is just as important as the destination. You know, this is where we learn, where we grow. It's where we make mistakes and overcome challenges. It's where we meet new people and make new friends. It's where we experience the world and all that it has to offer. We're not grateful for the journey. We're going to miss out on all these things. We're not going to, that journey is going to, you know, just be up 10 times longer and it's going to be brutal and it's going to, you know, midway in between, you're not going to want to continue on that journey just because you're not doing what the core principle is, is being grateful. So next time you're on your journey, take some time to appreciate the process. Be grateful for the challenges you face because they're an opportunity to learn and grow. Every time you fail, you are in charge of how do you react when you fail. Are you just going to be like, now nah, this isn't for me. This is not it. I'm done with this. Or you could be like, you know what? I screwed up this time. It's not going to happen again the next time because I know what to do now. I'm going to have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C. Make sure that doesn't happen ever again. Be grateful for the experiences you have because they're an opportunity, once again, to learn more about the world. Uh, I just want to show a quick video uh, from Steve Harvey, kind of like showing the, basically the cause of being grateful. And uh, let me just play it right now. I, I'm, I'm in the only profession there is no school for. You can't go to school for comedy. There's nothing, nothing available for comedy. You're either born this way or you're not. But you can go take lessons and then, you know, you just got to get around the scene out here. It's hard. It takes a long. Young people, you just got to understand. It takes a long time to make a lot of money. Quit thinking you finna just hit it. That's not how this works. It takes a long time to make a lot of money. I just got this money, summer for last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 61 years old. I just got this money, summer for last. Took me a long time, man. But there's joy in the process, too. See, you gotta enjoy the process. You got you gotta be grateful when you're making fifty thousand. Then you gotta be grateful when you get to seventy-five thousand. You gotta be grateful at eighty thousand. A lot of people stay pissed off because they ain't a millionaire. But I got news for you: if you pissed off where you are right now, you'll never be a millionaire. You want me to tell you why? Because there is a principle of success that God requires our gratitude. The more you're grateful for, the more God will give you to be grateful for. Because, see, God, he real smart. He got this system set up real smart. So you can immediately increase your life by being grateful. Instead of complaining about what's going on. Man, I got to go to work today. Man, I got these kids. See, you asked for all this shit, though. Remember when you wanted a job? Remember when you wanted a baby? Remember when you wanted to get the new car? Well, the new car come with some bills. Well, remember when you wanted to get you a bigger place? You got the bigger place? It costs more money. You know what I learned? You can't cry about what's on your plate when your whole goal was to eat. You can't, man. And if you, the moment you start showing God more gratitude, He'll give you more stuff because he's such a fair God. You know, what he do is he's not going to keep giving you stuff. 
if what you got you can't handle already. So he ain't gonna put no more on you than you can bear. So why are you tripping about all you got to do? He said, well, let me quit giving him stuff to do because he already can't handle this here. You kill more blessings by not being grateful. That's the number one blessing blocker, lack of gratitude. That's the number one reason I have what I have, and that's the number one reason why I'm going to get more, because I just stay grateful for what I have. And I'm busy, man, but I, over, over last year I was complaining a lot, and I couldn't understand why these few deals wasn't closing. I was on vacation this year, I was sitting on the boat, I was looking out over the water, and, and, and God just, he just showed it to me. He said, well, Steve, you've been complaining a lot about your workload, about how much you got. I can't give you no more because I don't want to, I don't want to tax you. I don't want to overburden you. I came back, told my wife that. We, we finished up the vacation, I came back. I changed everything. I wake up every morning with nothing but gratitude and I became more efficiency. And I'm telling you right now, two of them deals, I signed one yesterday because I figured it out. The cool thing about it is, it don't take God a long time to bless you. He starts immediately, man. I, I, listen to me, y'all. Wake up every day and start being grateful. Wake up every day. Don't, don't check your phone first. Don't check your texts and messages. Wake up every morning and just start thanking him for just your life, your kids, your job, your house, your food, your clothes, your money, your car, your husband, your boyfriend. And then immediately after that, you'll have a better day. And then watch, he start giving you more stuff. It's really not a magic trick to getting rich, man. You just have to learn the principles of success. All right, so here's a few tips for being grateful for the process of destination. Focus on the present moment. Don't dwell on the past or worry about the future. That focus on the present moment and enjoy the journey. Be grateful for the small thing. It's easy to get caught up in the big picture and forget to appreciate the small thing. Be grateful for the challenges. Challenges are an opportunity to learn and grow. So don't be afraid of them. Instead, embrace them and use them as an opportunity to become a better person. Be grateful for the people in your life. God, your mother, your father, your children, your friends. These people in your, in, in your life are the most important part of your journey. So be grateful for them and let them know how much you appreciate them. Be grateful for the experiences you have. Every experience is an opportunity to learn and grow. So be grateful for experience, for the experience, and uh, make sure you cherish them. You know, uh, once again, once you start being grateful, as I said in the beginning, you're gonna enjoy the journey more. You're gonna for not dwell on the past. You're gonna want to start failing so you can start succeeding. Your reactions to, to adversity is gonna be better. It's gonna be more positive. You know, you will have no regrets. That's something, one, one thing I, I used to, do was I used to uh, be scared of what if I'm if I, if I don't do this by this age or what if I do this, you know? I actually, you know, I'm, I'm happy to say at this point I don't regret anything I've done in the past because I learned from it, and those things uh, made me who I am today, and I'm very grateful and excited for what I'm going to become. So once again, be grateful, learn from your past, get excited for your future, and enjoy the ride. All right, so that's uh, that's my motivation today.